Have you ever wanted to know how to add normal flat video inside your 360 video so that it looks something like this? Well, I can show you how to do that. I can show you how to add images and text as well, all in Premiere Pro 2018, which is what I'm gonna use right now. It does not take long and it's pretty easy, so let's get going. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm gonna to show you how to add normal non-360 video inside your 360 video so that it appears correctly and it's not warped. And um, I think this is a very useful tool to have if you're gonna be creating uh, virtual tours, you're gonna to be showing people uh, you know, places that they may not have that much information about. A lot of documentaries use this when they film in 360. Basically, it allows you to add some more interesting elements to your 360 video. It allows you to um, encourage people to look around a bit more, to give them more information. You can add either a video, um, you can add text boxes, you can add pictures even. It's all kind of the same thing. So yeah, let's get started. What you need is a 360 video, which I have right here. It is uh, shot near the London Eye, as you can see, the River Thames. And this is the 360 video shot with the Yi 360 VR. Now I have a non-360 video, which is just you know a normal flat, video, there it is, so I put it on top of my 360 video, and as you can see here, it's appeared um, on top of it. So yeah, let's take a look at what that looks like in the VR view, so this is what it looks like if it was a 360 video, and yeah, as you can see here, it's kind of curved around, this is not what we want, this is obviously not going to be uh, particularly good. For viewing, it's going to be very warped and not, um, not as it's supposed to be, but we can fix it, I'm going to show you how. Right, so as you can see here, it's just a kind of flat square, um, and that's not how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look a bit weird when we're working in the 360. So what you need to do is go to Video Effects, go down to Immersive Video, and go to VR Plane to Sphere. Now drag that on top of your flat non-360 video. And as you can see, it's changed, and now it's got this curve, and now it will appear correctly in the video. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So see, as you can see, it's now uh, like a normal, you know, flat video and it uh, looks correct. As we look around, it doesn't look warped. It just looks like it's, yeah, supposed to be there. So that's basically how you adapt a uh, flat video into a 360 video. You just need to add that effect. But, you know, that's not the end of it, really. You need to position it. You need to put it in the right place. You need to change the size. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well, because there is a little trick to it. So this video now is formatted for the 360 format and it will work fine, but it's a bit too big, it's not in the right place and uh, we need to move it. So basically what I wanna do is put it kind of in the sky because um, you know this is wasted space, there's not much to look at up here, so we might as well put some more information if I want to add it in somewhere where it's not gonna block anything interesting. So yeah, first we need to make it smaller because that's far too big, so what you need to do is go to the VR plane to sphere um, editing tab here then use the scale function and just reduce it. So quite a lot because even though that looks quite small now, in the 360 mode it will still look quite big. Now you need to use this. Uh, you can't use the motion control here which also has scale because that is, uh, it's not, basically it doesn't work for 360 video. Um, it will just kind of mess it all up. So don't use that. Use the VR plane to sphere. Now I also want to move it up and uh, to the side. Now to do that, you do have some um, options for moving things here. So I can move up and to the side. But as you can see, if I move to the side, it kind of does a weird thing where it goes around like that. So um, if I want to move it up uh, higher into the video, I can use the projection tilt, tilt X axis. But now if I want to move it to the side, I need to use a different, a different editing mode. So you go back to here to your immersive video panel and you go to uh, VR rotate sphere. Now drag that on top. And here we go, there it is. And as you can see here, you've got some more um, moving kind of options here. So I just move it along using the pan option. So there we go, that's how you do it. That's how you move up and to the side. So if you want to move your video higher or lower um, in the 360 image, you use the, um, sorry, you use the VR plane to sphere and then you go to rotate source and, oh no you don't, you go to rotate projection and uh, projection tilt x-axis. So yeah, that's how you move up and down. And then if you want to move side to side, go to VR rotate sphere and use the pan option. And now that will appear correctly in the 360 video. So let's have a look. So yeah, this will now appear in the 360 video. If I drag this still along, there we go. Um, as a flat video, which doesn't look warped, it doesn't look out of place. And uh, yeah, it, that's how, how it works. And we've got it in a position that's not blocking anything. But finally, we do need to do one more thing um, because it does look a bit weird 
if it just appears out of nowhere like this. It would be better if it had kind of some kind of smooth transition so it didn't, didn't just appear out of nowhere. Thankfully, there are transition options in Premiere Pro 2018, which um, can help us do that. So yeah, let's take a look. It If we go to video transitions, immersive video, which I've already selected, and you have these options. So VR Mobius Zoom, I find to be the best for this kind of thing. So let's see what that looks like if I drag the timeline across. See how it appears from the center and then kind of appears in the sky up there. That's fine. I mean, you could just stick with that, but I think it would look better if it appeared from just below where it's going to end up. So it's not kind of doing a sideways thing and you can very easily edit that. If you just click on the transition and go to point of interest and just drag it along and just roughly to where under it's going to end up. So, and there we go. It uh, appears in the video quite smoothly and it looks a lot more professional. Um, so let's have a look at what that looks like. If we go and play. But if you don't want to do video, if you would rather add text, rather add images, you can also do that in exactly the same way. So let's just quickly show you how to do that. So I'm going to make this a lot shorter. I have a text box here that I'm going to add. I just made this in Photoshop. So make just, just create a JPEG. If I was doing a virtual tour of London, uh, maybe some people, you know, you might want to have some more information about some of the landmarks. So there we go. I've got uh, some facts here about the tower. This is Big Ben. That I'm sure you're well aware of what it looks like. But yeah, some interesting facts. So I want to move this. Um, well, I want this to look good in a 360 video because at the moment it looks very strange. It's a bit curved. That's not what we want. I want to move it to where Big Ben roughly is, which is this little bit over here. And yeah, just resize it and have it pointing in the right direction. Video effects, immersive video, plane to sphere. Right now that is um, in the proper format. So um, then we just add rotate sphere as well. So actually, well, I need to make it a bit smaller first, I think. So make it a bit smaller. Go to rotate projection, move it up. Go to VR rotate sphere and to the pan um, option and we'll pan it across there. So let's see if that's roughly in the position that looks good. So yeah, that's fine. Um, so we could just leave it like that, but you can see it's kind of facing forward a bit. It's just, um, I'd rather it be kind of this line be straight up. And we can have, we can do that if you fiddle around with the other options. So as you can see here, we can tilt the image as well. So maybe I'll tilt it back slightly and see what that looks like now. See, that's a bit better. Uh, that kind of looks like it's, uh, not leaning forward at you and it's, you know, still readable, still big enough. You can do the same with an image. Yeah, I'm just quickly showing you these things. So obviously you can make this a lot more professional, get some proper text, get some proper good video that makes sense for this, uh, for whatever video you're making. But yeah, it's definitely worth it because it definitely makes your 360 video a lot more interesting. Okay guys, so that's about it. Um, it's fairly simple as you can imagine. And you're not limited to just one or two. You can have as many as you want. You can have it all pointing inwards. You can have them pointing in different directions. Or you can even have graphics, motion graphics. If you know how to use After Effects, you know how to have moving things. So I'm gonna show you a kind of finished product. Um, I'm just gonna play around with this a little bit more and show you a video of kind of what it looks like with some more videos and uh, maybe a few more images. But for now, that's it guys. Um, I hope this has been useful. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask. And if you're into 360 video, if you're thinking about getting a camera or you already have one, then feel free to subscribe because I've got um, some more tutorials about how to edit your video and how to make some cool um, virtual tours and which cameras to buy, etc. I've also got some virtual tours coming up that I'm gonna use this kind of stuff. Um, so hopefully you'll check those out. And yeah, I guess that's it. So I hope you have a good day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.